Good morning, everybody. It is April 20th, 2023. It is 4.01 in the morning. Okay. Uh, I forgot where I was. So... Wait, I think I got cut off or something. Or maybe not. I forgot. Okay. But we'll, we'll just do this one. Since I haven't read this one. And the... Or the old man's boy grows older. Okay. We'll read this one. I'm sorry, this is taking so long. I have no idea. I have no idea how to find things in this book, evidently. Okay, uh, hmm. Okay. The old man and the boy, the old man's boy grows over. Okay, I guess I'll just pick, uh, who'd my fledget, uh, chapter, I guess. I thought there was, like, two books in one, and I thought that the old man and the boy was one book, and then the old man's boy grows older was another book, but evidently that isn't it. I'm not sure what the heck is the deal, pickle. Okay, so I guess I'll just pick a chapter. <laughs> I have no idea. Um, or I could just start from where I left off last time. See, that says the old man and the boy. Okay, let's see. The old man and the boy, the old man and the boy, the old man and the boy. Wait a sec. Oh man, the boy. Oh man, the boy. Hold on a sec. I might get this. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I was right. Okay. Ah, map. Get back in there. Okay. The oh man, the boy. So it's like so. This is like one book. So it was written by Robert. Rourke, or however you say his last name, illustrated with line drawings by Walter Dower. Okay, and then The Old Man and the Boy. So it's The Old Man and the Boy, and then that's one book, and then The Old Man and the Boy Grows Older is an, another book. I would say, I would say this is like two books in one. Okay. I just got up not too long ago, so. Sometimes I'm like, ooh. Okay, right after I first wake up, my brain didn't work right, and da 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 da. Okay, so. Alright. The old man boys grows, grows older. And there's a. There's a map in here. I didn't put this map in here. I have no idea. Whoever had this book before I did put this map in here. I think I've showed it before. But I just thought that was so cool. Okay. 
So. Forward. A word from the boy. It's a popular pastime among adults when the hair begins to gray and the aches of middle age grow more steadily persistent to look back on the prodigious deeds of their youth and proclaim that we've all gone soft and that they don't make boys like that anymore. The old man had a theory about this. He said that as a man grew older, the miles that he used to walk to the little red schoolhouse grew longer. I am convinced, he said, that was schooling. I had took place no further than half a mile from the homestead, but the older I get, the older the trip seems to get. If you asked me right fast how far I walk through the snow, I reckon I'd say 10 mile without batting an eye. My nose is running. Sorry. So embarrassing. This is doing this on camera. And whenever it does it in public, I'm like, I'm so embarrassed. <sighs> Sorry. Okay. I wasn't paying too much attention to what the old gentleman was saying, except I caught the word snow. It was steamy August, and I was torturing the crank handle of an ice cream freezer. Or rather, the crank was torturing me. Sweat was streaming down my face, and only the promise of being allowed to lick the dasher kept me grunting at the task as the cream in the cylinder, surrounded by a mixture of cracked ice and rock salt, got stiff and stiffer. When it became almost immovably stiff, the ice cream was done, and I would be onto that smoothly creamy wooden paddle like a duck on a June bug. And there would be wonderful chunks of frozen peaches making lovely hill ox under the satin surface of the ice cream. This was known as soldier's pay or extra incentive. And I was allowed an even start on the bulk of the ice cream with the family. I usually came out ahead despite impost. It seems to me that this was the best ice cream ever tooled by the hand of man. When you consider the miracles one used to work with, Jersey cream, sugar, eggs, and vanilla extract, with a few peach nuggets or cherries stirred into the mixture, they don't make ice cream like that today. They don't make life that way either, today either. This sobering thought occurred sharply as I was smitten by a violent crick in the back the other day when I was trying to recapture my misty youth by producing some home-churned ice cream instead of sending somebody to the store for a carton or merely reaching down into the freezer for a rock-hard package that generally tastes of the same old sawdust no matter how brilliant the stripes. I reckon that in recent years, I've ruined an awful lot of good meat cooking outdoors, out of doors in pursuit of youth. I will go fishing or camping just for the fun of being frozen or sunstruck, fly bit or mosquito tune, anything at all as long as it's uncomfortable. I am a sucker for picnics and save your any, savor anything at all to eat if it's either raw or burnt and has sand on it. In recent years, I have consumed elephant heart, raw antelope liver, and half-cooked sand grouse or gazelle chops. 
me that had been flying through the air and gambling on the planes a few short minutes before. Let me catch a fish, and I'm not happy until I've given it a clay pack and shoved it into the coals. If it comes out half raw, it doesn't hurt the taste, even on a tongue that may have been jaded by 30 years of nicotine and honed smooth by Prohibition Gin. Okay, so that is all for part one. Forward. The boy grows older. A word from the boy. Thank you for watching.